Hi, I'm Kevin. In part 5 I told you about the circumstances of our resumed trip to North Queensland. We had reached Longreach via Toowoomba, the Warrego Highway and the Landsborough Highway. While in Longreach we will visit the Qantas Founders Museum. But first we will visit some of the surrounding area, including Isisford and Ilfracombe. The first day at Longreach was spent mostly at Qantas Founders Museum. You can check that out in part 7 of this series. On the second day we drove to Isisford on the Baku River, but stopped to see a fine example of pitching on the way. Pitching is a method of building stone structures without using mortar. This example was for diverting water, at a site where soft soil would quickly wash away. As we looked at the stonework, a group of galahs flew in and perched in the treetops. The road to Isisford was lined with wildflowers. The spring wildflower season was well underway. Isisford, on the Baku River, is a diminished town since council amalgamations but still has a museum based on fossils of a prehistoric crocodile. It is a surprising facility in such a small town but certainly worth some time, if you are ever passing through. Whitman's Cafe is an excellent coffee and souvenir shop. It is part of the museum. Several surviving businesses line the broad streets. The river has several channels that combine to form a broad stream during floods. The town was built above the flood line. On the northern side of town, a heritage wall remembers residents who contributed to the community. There is a big fish too, to add to your list of big things. The river is known for its yellow belly fishery. More wildflowers lined the road on the return to Ilfracombe. We visited the Wellshot Centre, the former police station converted to a memorial for a sheep station. Wellshot Station, just south of Ilfracombe, was the original station in the area. There is some interesting memorabilia to see. Ilfracombe's is probably best known for its mile of machinery that lines the highway just west of the town. Most exhibits have identification signage, some of it showing detailed information. Machinery display is enhanced by the inclusion of Bougainvillea. The visit to Ilfracombe completed our plans for the day.